Hi, we intend to use this flow sensor for the high frequency ventilator. It's an autoclavable version manufactured by Sensurion. Here we see the model we are planning to use. However, for the autoclavable model, we have to buy at least 10 pieces. So we decided to use this uh, version, uh, which is not autoclavable, but is functionally uh, ident identical to the autoclavable model. So we are going to use this one for the first prototype. In order to do a first evaluation of the sensor, we bought this evaluation kit, the EKH5. Here we can see the evaluation kit. It converts from I2C to USB. We will use this kit to do a first test of the sensor. Now let's show the tests. Now we will test the sensor. We have this part here, which is the sensor, and uh, this part that is it's an interface uh, to convert from I2C to USB. Now let's see how it works. Let's test the flow sensor. Here we have the sensor. We can take a look here inside. Um, it's connected to a test structure uh, that converts from I to C to uh, USB. Now let's blow in and out the air to see how it works. So, it seems to be working just fine for bidirectional flow. And here we have this flow sensor used in the system. Well, here we can see a waveform that is practically sinusoidal uh, and bidirectional. So it looks to be working fine. This is a waveform of 6 Hz. So, the flow sensor works well for low pressures. However, when we use the evaluation kit that converts from I2C to USB, we notice that the, the sampling frequency is just 125 Hertz. So, the goal uh, for the next days is to develop an I2C interface that allows us a sampling frequency of 1000 Hertz. And that's what we're going to be working on in, for this week. Thank you.